I saw this question on YouTube. I have I have my way to do it, so I would like to share with you. This question is actually looking for sine x equal to half pi. Then this equation is true. So actually we are looking for this. Sine x is equal to half pi. And if and find uh, find x. Now, from from this, I know the cosine x is equal to plus or minus one minus pi square over four. Right? Yeah, this is equal to plus or minus one half square root uh, four minus pi square. Now, since uh, four is less than pi square, therefore this is a imaginary number. So equal to plus or minus one half square root pi square minus four i. Okay. <laughs> uh, the Euler's formula says this equal to cosine x plus i sine x. Now this is a cosine. This is sine. Therefore, this is equal to plus or minus half square root pi square minus four. This is a cosine, right? Plus half pi i. Yeah. Uh, I can I can write this way, okay. Uh, one half plus or minus the square root pi square minus four plus pi i. Right? Yeah, it looks better. Then x i is equal to uh, natural log, uh, natural log, one half plus or minus a squ i square minus four plus pi. Yeah, i. Well, I, I, I'm writing carefully, you know, well, no, no mistake. All right, this is a complex number, therefore this is equal to A plus B I, right? A, B are real numbers. Then from this, I can find a, plus or minus half uh, square root one square minus four uh, plus half pi i no mistake, all right. This is equal to e to the power, e to the power of a plus b i, which is equal to e to the a times cosine b plus i sine b. Yeah. Now, 
since this is a imaginary number, so this this complex number, the real part must be zero. Hmm. Yeah, this means that a cosine b must be zero. Yeah, which means that b is equal to half pi or negative half pi. Yeah. Well, then, then this is this is zero, right? This is, therefore. Uh, one half plus or minus is better right this way. Pi square minus four plus pi is equal to e to the power of this sine b. Sine b is a one, right? If a b is a half pi. Yeah. Look, this one is a this one is always positive because the pi is greater than square root pi square minus four. This one is greater than this. Therefore, this is always positive. Therefore, this half pi sine half pi negative one is out. See, only half pi is possible. Sine half pi is a one. So this is the result, you know. It will never be negative. So this is out, right? B B could be B could only be half pi. And from this, a is a a is equal to log half right plus or minus square root pi square minus 4 plus pi. Well, I think it's correct. All right, and then, uh, because uh, xi is equal to a plus bi, right? See? xi is a plus bi. So x is equal to b minus ai. Now we know b, we know a, right? So x is is a, is a fun. This x is equal to one half i, that is a. This is uh, this is a b, this is a minus i natural log one half uh, plus or minus square root i square minus a four plus pi yeah that is a principal solution right then you add a Add the multiple of two pi, it becomes general solution and is a integer. Okay, so this is the the general solution for sine x equal to half pi. This it will be also for this equation, right? Okay, now I I want to I want to discuss some notes here. Okay, look, uh, this is what I'm. This is what I just just now uh, done. Uh, this is the solution, right? Now, uh, but I forget one thing. Uh, sorry, I, I mentioned something else here. The sign. Pi minus x is equal to sine x, right? Correct? Yeah, therefore, if this is a solution, 
then this take away from pi is also solution. So pi minus this becomes half pi plus that. Therefore, plus or minus both are solution. Uh, uh, is that uh, is that okay? I know that minus is a uh, half pi minus this is solution, and a pi minus this is also solution. Pi minus this becomes a half pi plus that. Therefore, both plus minus are uh, the solution. I hope it is this correct. Now, the also, now then, I would like to discuss this. This is what I've just have done uh, for this sine x equals half pi. But don't forget that sine x equals half pi. This angle, this angle could be, you know, plus two n pi. That means is just add a multiple of two pi. If I use this to discuss, if I use this instead of that, see, I, I did it using using half pi. I did it use half pi. Now if I use this, then I develop this general formula. Well, you can go over by yourself, or you just go see the video on the YouTube. Somebody, somebody did it now using this as a general solution. Then that would be the general solution for this for this equation. What I've done is this for that only for half pi. But I think nothing wrong is this because this is this one is also having infinite many solutions you know when you added pi i just i just just i just solve for one principal solution then add on the multiple of two pi in well this is the case that i start to discuss as this as sine x you know then well, I hope my explanation is uh, is clear. In other words, sign this, sign this, sign is sign this one is getting half pi plus two n pi, but this one sign this is half pi. That's the difference. Well, I I let you. Think of uh, think it over, you know. Okay. Anyhow, I hope you like it. Thank you.